Okay, let's look at how to use the Harness Policy Engine Policy Step to evaluate a custom JSON payload as part of your a part of your pipeline. So I already built one here, and I'll explain how I get the payload and how I evaluate it. So first, I'm going to do an HTTP step, and what this does is it uses this um, it does a REST call a get uh, at this URL, and it's going to return our JSON payload that we want to evaluate. And here is the payload as version uh, v140 and then a commit. So next we'll look at our policy. So in the policy here, this is what we're going to be evaluating. We have a comparison, semantic version comparison here. And we're saying that it has to be greater than 0 0.200.0. Um, and we'll, obviously that will turn out to be true, but let's just walk through it as an example. So in order to use a policy, you have to add it to a policy set. So let's look at the policy set. I have one here called version. I'll edit it so you can see. And you notice that the entity type that this policy set applies to is set to custom as opposed to pipeline or feature flag. And that's because we're using it in a policy step. And right now, custom is the entity type supported in policy steps. And we have on step here. Once you choose custom, you get on step. And so next, we simply add the policy that I showed you, the check version policy, and we decide what we want to do if, that is, if it fails. So warning continue or error and exit. Okay, let's go back to our pipeline here. So we're gonna get our payload here and now we've got to evaluate it with a policy step. So here's our policy step. We have the entity type custom, as I showed you before, and then the policy set that I showed you, which is called version. And you can add or modify sets here just by selecting them. Um, and here is the payload. This is a harness expression that gets evaluated at runtime. So as the uh, call is done and we get the response from that HTTP, we're going to output it here. And that's what's going to get evaluated by the policy. Uh, I'll show you, you get this, the best way to do this is to run it, just the HTTP in the pipeline and then get the output and then you can put it, the expression, you can copy the expression and put it right in here. I'll show you that when I do an execution. But anyhow, this is what's going to get evaluated. And then I also added a shell script step just to grab the results of the evaluation and output that. So I'm just echoing the status and I'll show you that in the execution as well. Okay, so let's run it. There goes our HTTP getting the payload, our version, our policy, and there's the shell script. So let's look first. So we did the HTTP request at that URL. Um, we get the output of it and there is that same JSON payload. And you'll see this um, output name here is HTTP response body. And that's the one that I used in our policy step, the expression. So if I copy this, I'll just uh, paste it. Well, you can see, actually, I already showed it to you in there. You can see it as the input. Um, and we'll get the payload, and there it is evaluated as an input. So the policy set is going to, the policy is going to be applied to that uh, payload. And here's the output, and the status was passed. So in this shell script step, this is the expression I had in there status. And so that is what gets evaluated here. And there you have it. I'm echoing that expression, that resolved expression is pass. And that's how simple it is. You simply need to obtain the payload and then apply the policy. And I used an HTTP get here to get a payload, but it could be from a shell script step. It could be anywhere. And this is how you evaluate it. And that's it.